Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75 and welcome back to another Transformers review. Um, right, uh, I'm finally getting around to doing my Crazy Devi Predator King review. Um, I think I've got nearly all the parts now. Um, the only things I could think of they'd be doing, um, I think Mick Murr said the other day that maybe they might do the new sort of like Lionhead or Main or something. Maybe that would be pretty damn cool. And the only other thing from the pictures of the um, actual packets that you get is maybe a larger x-ray laser maybe um, I can't think of too much else anyway this is the original figure this is him um, from his well this is the original generation one my, my Japanese one that I have um, as you can see this figure is amazing without any upgrades um, the upgrades as I'll put them on you will see that um, do they make the figure any better um, well, I'll let you decide that. I mean, I, I think maybe they do, well, maybe some do, but I don't think you need all of them. Um, but, like I say, we'll, we'll let you decide that one. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deconstruct this fella and then reassemble him with all the parts. Let me just show you the parts that I'm going to be using quickly. Uh, this is the latest one they did. This is the C CDMW23. This is the larger hands, actually sort of like posable hands. Um, that's not too bad, I haven't actually put them on yet. Uh, we have the uh, renowned wings, or whatever you want to call them, uh, that causes everyone loads of problems. We have the large x-ray laser cannons, I think that's what they are, can't exactly remember. We have the foot plates, um, not really much, but they do have a little bit of height, which is always good. Uh, we have the sword, this one is the sort of bronze sword, I didn't get the just didn't see the original one, which is a shame really, I would probably prefer the other one. But you'll see that when I put it on. And this is the head. I wasn't going to get the head because I thought it looked exactly the same. But I did see a picture of it and it does look good. Just don't use the lights on the eyes because they're a bit pointless. But we'll come to that. And the other thing that I'm using is a knockoff set um, of wings. These are for the actual Crazy Devil wings because what happens is is they just end up ripping the stickers off your original wings and can damage the actual the movement inside on this hinge here. Um, these are a knockoff ones, so these don't really work too well anyway, but I don't really care about fucking these up. So anyway, but that's what we're going to use in. Right, I shall be back in a minute and start assembling them. Right, so we're back and as you can see I've just got the two, well, the two legs, uh, Tantrum and Headstrong. Um, and now we're going to just attach the foot plates. There was a little bit of controversy over these because the one that attached the headstrong uh, can end up actually breaking your figure. What I actually done was, because I'd luckily I'd seen all the videos saying that, um, the indents, don't know if you're going to see them too well, there you go, you can see it on that side just there. Um, the, there's not, the indents are literally just like this, they're just like a small groove but they need to be a lot lot deeper. So what I did was I just got a file and just got a file in there and file the fuckers down. Um, and made it at least twice as deep as it should be because um, I'd rather damage this than my actual G1 figure and by doing that I'm going to make sure I'm doing it both sides and just keep doing it um, one it fits a lot better and two doesn't damage your figure um, but that's what I did and obviously that's just the easiest thing to do um, but I am using a the plastic set of original 1986-85 whatever they are Japanese ones so I don't know what it's like on the the reissue Predacons I really don't know if there's slight changes or not but that is what I found the easiest. Right, so the first, of all, first of all, the easiest probably upgrade we do is we just take head uh, tantrum off there, and then we attach the smaller foot plate, and that just fits easily because there's two little holes for the tabs, and that just fits straight on over the top, just like that. And then we put him back on there, and that gives him what I don't know, about a centimetre or two more height. Is it worth it? I don't really know, to be honest. Um, but it looks pretty good. And then what we do with this fella is we take him off again. Um, I these basically you now just slide on basically as it should do on the actual feet. Just be careful as you slide it into the groove. Um, there we go. It should just go down. I don't push mine down all the way because I couldn't get the file in all the way. But that is it. And then this just make sure these two little end tabs are open because they're going to just slide onto the edges of the feet. There we go. And there we have it, and there's Headstrong and Tantrum. Um, now as you can see, there's a bit of a height differential here. I've got to bring down this somehow, or is it raise this one? I think I've got to raise Tantrum somehow. Uh, I'm not totally sure exactly what I've got to do, 
But you raise him. Oh no, you don't want to do that. You raise him up slightly. Oh dude, I don't want to budge now. I'm trying to do this on camera, but it can be a little bit annoying. There we go. I think you raise him up to about there. And then, yeah, that's it. And then it gives them much more height. And I can just put them down if you want. And like that. And so now they're about what? I don't know, maybe an inch bigger, maybe an inch, two inches bigger. Let me just redefine my camera slightly. Sorry about this, everybody. There we go. Ready for the next part. I don't know if I'm going to fit all this in, actually. But we'll see. Uh, the next part we're going to do is we're going to attach the hands to dive bomb and rampage. Just going to put dive bomb there. Just going to move these two to the back. And then we'll attach them all at the end. That should be a lot of option. Uh, right, so we've got the hands down here. And so now then these hands, whereas before, let me just get one of the old hands. This is um, Rampage's hand. As you can see, this is the block thick of plastic. No articulation or nothing, only moves just there like that. But then what they've done on this one is they've given him the movable knuckle duster and the fingers are all independent. Unfortunately, you're not going to get no articulation on the ends of the fingers. They're all like that. But you have got articulation on the thumb. So you can have him reaching out and grabbing someone. Um, I think they've designed it like that so he can still hold the giant sword. Um, which is very commendable. But if I'm honest, I'd rather they've found a way to hold the sword and give him more articulation. A bit like on the Devastator one they did. But still, never mind. Uh, let me just close these back up because uh, I've got to try and attach these now. This I, I tried this the other day and these were a little bit problematic. Uh, they still do fit pretty much the same. Uh, you've just got to sort of like, as you put them on, oh no, there we go, that went on very easy, didn't it? There we go. So you can open these out like that. And there's Rampage with the new hand. Um, is it better? Yeah, I think so, why not? Not much difference, it still looks pretty good, this one. Don't think you need them, if I'm honest, but it doesn't really matter. Because these are, these are pretty cool upgrades, I do, I do like them. Uh, right, so we stick that in there. This one doesn't seem to want to go in the hole all the way. And we just open out that leg all around it. There we go. And then we're just going to turn it. It doesn't want to turn. I think I'm supposed to open out the claws first on this leg. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. There we go. So then that one goes into the little hole. Then you just got to sort of prise the other leg over it. Open that out, and it should turn. It's probably just a bit bloody stiff. There we go. Put that back down. Open out the fingers somewhat. And there we go. And there's a dive bomb with the, as a new hand or arm, whatever you want to call it. Looks all right. Not too bad. Going to put him over there. Uh, right. Now then we're going to come to the... Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. We're going to come to the crazy Debbie wings. These infamous wings. Um, after the original problems they um, originally came with, they did do a upgrade set um, comprising of the extra black wings to replace these and another part to give them more stability because when you put these on they're so damn heavy they just f will fall off, fall down, everything. But what they did was when they brought out the other two x-ray laser guns for shoulders, um, you don't need this part, mainly because I don't think it will fit fucking on, but there we go. Alright, so I don't need them, because I'm using my knockoff set, and I don't really care what happens to these, to be honest. Right, all we do is we open out the wing fully. Uh, we get our crazy Debbie wing. And the size of these wings, I, I mean, look at the size of that. That is absolutely fantastic. And you've got to be careful with these, because of the gold chrome they've used. You can't scratch them, because you'll just come through the black underneath it. It's a bit of a shame, but these do look fucking good. Anyway, all we do is you shove the wing in like that. And you just sort of fumble around until you think you've got it, basically. It can be a bit problematic when you hold it in that hand. There we go. Once you've got it in and it touches on that one, you just close the wing around it. That's it, and just push it all the way. And that's, that's it. And we've got one wing on. Let me get my other wing. I've got it protected under here. Here we go. And again, it's not a it can be a bit problematic. Easier if you're not trying to do it on camera. Anyway, slide that in there and just fumble around. It is a bit of a problem. The first time I did it, it took me ages to get it on because it just didn't seem to want to go on there right. Anyway, there we are. Then we open out these, same like that anyway, around that. 
And so these are the new wings, as you can see, massive, shiny, absolutely brilliant. Another thing the uh, X-ray laser guns did come with was an upgraded central part, this, this bit here. It's much thicker and will hold on a lot better, and so you don't really need the upgrade that came with these wings. Uh, but we'll come to that in a minute. I'm just going to pop these down over here, because now we're going to do razor claw. Uh, right, here we go. So normally what you'd do is um, you would just pop the head straight over this, but now we need to fold this back. This is where it can get a bit problematic. Right, there you go, I figured it out. What you've got to do is you take your wings, you open out this new piece, and then we get these giant x-ray laser cannons these are damn good as you can see there's a nice big giant groove this now just fits straight onto there i'm going to do it as best as i can so you can see it fits on it's a nice tight fit just push it on i'm probably not going to be able to do this let me just do this off camera and i'll show you what i've done because it is very problematic i have got a lot of room where i've got my new camera set up really but anyway you push it on push it all the way and it clicks into place and as you can see this is what you end up with this bit now just clips onto that and then we get razor claw and then with a nice little hole in the back just push this on and this should fit nicely in there it's a lot more tighter fit than it was before but it will now hold the wings nicely as you can see don't worry about it Ed. and uh, now the next upgrade we're actually going to do is the head upgrade uh, right, here we go. Uh, let me just pop that down there. there we go. I'm trying not to damage all this. This is the original head, as you can see, not, not a bad head, not a bad face. And then this is the upgraded head, as you can see, it's slightly larger, larger antenna, and a more defined face. Uh, it does have lights on the back, a nice little LED switch there. You can switch that on, and it does light up. You're not going to really see it, but it lights up the whole head. It needed blacking out or something inside it just to light up the eyes, which is a bit of a problem. I was thinking of taking it apart and trying to do it. Probably never will, to be honest with you. But to be honest, you really don't need the lights on it. Hardly any of the ones, though, they have the light up eyes. You don't really need them, but it's just a nice little extra. But anyway, right, so we take our main body, and this now just fits into the groove. I think you've got to open out these slightly. Like that, just push them back a little bit just to give them a little bit of room and then what we do is we're just going to put the head just in there it's a very very tight fit there we go and you just push it back slightly and now there is the new predaking head and now what you've got to do is we just got to fit all these bastards together shall i do it these just fit in the same way as before push them all the way down without bloody pushing the leg down which it's just done so I'm just going to try and raise this up again somehow, but it won't matter because when I get... Oh, it's a pain in the arse, this thing, I tell you. Anyway, so now we get this one in headstrong. Get in there, you banker. Right, so there we have him. He's in there. Not so bad. There we go. Kind of. <laughs> hey, raise a claw, uh, sorry. There we go. He's sort of hanging around. He wants to tilt backwards for some reason, but that's only because I haven't got the arms on yet. Uh, one second, let me just redefine my camera. Right, so there we go. It's a bit more stable. You can see what you're doing now. Uh, right, so you put the arm in. Much the same as before. Just slot that in. Until he locks into position. There we go. This will give him a bit more weight on the forward. And then this one just goes in there. And I've got to be careful of that bloody wing. Going out. There we go. And so now we've ended up with this. Make sure these are all separated. This is the crazy Devi Predaking. And to be honest, um, looking at it now, this is the completed thing. It looks absolutely amazing, actually. Um, I take it back. Um, you really do need it. Um, it just looks really amazing. Um, Look at that. For some reason, my, my dive bomb doesn't want to turn too well at the uh, waist there, because so you could give it sort of like elbow joints and everything. But it does look good. Um, I love these. These giant guns up here. Let me just take this off for a second, just to give you a full view of it. Uh, these guns up here, these are brilliant. These are, two, these are posable. You can have them pointing straight up. Um, you can have them down. The wings are so shiny. You can see me there reflected in them. Absolutely brilliant. You've got the hands. Fantastic. The head will now turn to give him posability there. As you can say, the hands are all independent, as in all well, the fingers all move and everything like that, to give them to hold people. Absolutely fantastic stuff. And of course, what they also did 
was they gave him a new sword this is the original sword he came with which is very very tiny and then so they made this giant motherfucking sword which now looks absolutely fantastic um, it will fit into the hand of the original well hands of the original no problem that's what it was originally designed for but obviously these hands are a little bit different so what they did was a what came with the hands was an extra sort of like um i don't know what you call it handle hilt something like that this will just fit easily into there it should do did the other day when i put it on but no i don't worry something like that there we go and then this will now you close up the hand just open up that one there we go put that around it bloody thumbs getting in a poxy way yeah that'll be your poxy thumb there we go so you put that sword in there and then close up all the hands and it will easily now hold the sword absolutely brilliant there we go let me just do a side view there and that is just absolutely brilliant i think it looks just <laughs> it just looks amazing um all right let me just do a quick size comparison one second just leave that there for a minute i've got a devastator over the back here Oh, if I can pick him up without breaking him. Here we go. This is an original size Devastator. As you can see, he is now a lot, lot larger than Devastator. That is a black Devastator that I've got. I'm going to do a review on that soon. Um, he just looks fantastic. I think even the crazy Devi Devastator just comes up to about here on him. And this just fella just looks brilliant. If you if they, when they if they do make a new main, it will look brilliant. Same with the gun. I almost forgot to put his gun back on. This one. Here there was something missing. Just put that to one side. That goes in there. There it is. Like I said, they may make a new gun, but we'll see about that. But this guy just looks. Oh, this guy just looks amazing. Uh, you put that on display and fuck me, that oh, it just looks brilliant. Words cannot describe it. It really does look good. Um, but just obviously you're going to have to sort out problems with the wings and the feet mainly. Hands are not a problem. This is the first time I put them on. Didn't have a problem with them. Uh, the head is not a problem either. Brilliant stuff. Uh, right, so this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I hope everyone liked this review. Um, if I ever do get any other parts, like if they do make a new main or gun or whatever, I'll just do an update video for this or something like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, this has been Graham, the Collector 75, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.